part of um, about a year in was our support teams had LLMs deployed, and then we trained chatbots to use a decade worth of support ticket history, incident reports, customer query knowledge, and all of that. And you, again, you know, we, the promise was to use LLMs to take away grunt work, not just for devs, but also for support teams, for help desk teams, for customer service frontline teams, and all of that. And, and so it doesn't have to be a co-pilot in a sense of GitHub co-pilot. It's just a co-pilot to help them do their work better. That's trained on a static body of knowledge or even a growing body of knowledge. So from that standpoint, it really helped the non-tech teams. I think also another use case, you know, when you say documentation or integration engineers, or even external parties that use our APIs, one interesting use case that we saw work well was you point an LLM at API endpoints, and then you ask it to generate an update documentation but also generate code stubs in like five languages, right? And say, okay, here's a Python stub, here's a Java stub, or a Go stub to facilitate fast integration for B2B systems. And in our industry, it's quite common where you have brand partners or logistics partners that are connected to our systems, whether it is to update inventory or to ship and sort of get package information. So again, the body of users for this wasn't exactly the core dev group using the co-pilots. It was more LLMs to facilitate making them do the jobs faster.